Hello everybody, this is Andy and my channel's name is The Timeless Travel Club. And if you follow my channel, you know that I recently put out a video two days ago, but I thought it was important to follow up on an, an important topic, which is COVID testing while in Mexico. Because you all know by law, we are now required to test negative if we want to re-enter the United States or Canada. So I just wanted to share my experience. Uh, some of you probably have uh, a trip booked in the near future or, or you're interested in scheduling one. And by all means, I am not offering advice whether you should or should not make the trip or book. I am not a COVID expert. I think the best advice you can follow is your own. So uh, yeah, this video, there are a lot of people asking me through comments uh, in my previous videos while in Mexico. So yeah, I wanted to put this out there for you. But Puerto Vallarta, along with other touristy destinations, Mexican destinations, they're, they're being very proactive. Um, they are making the situation, the testing process, as easy as possible for tourists, Canadian and Americans alike. My usual driver, Mario Davalos, um, I'll leave the, his information down below. He had everything worked out. He had all the answers for me when we arrived um, early on. He recommended, and he's been taking all of his clients to the airport tent. There might be a name. I don't know if there is or not. That's what we refer to it because there's a big white tent in the airport parking lot where you go to have your COVID test. You can't miss it. Then you drive up, it's just a big old tent. The, the US citizens enter on the airport side and the Canadian citizens enter on the parking lot side. So the new law states that you must test negative 72 hours or three days prior to re-entering the United States. There are some people that I noticed were testing same day. They would uh, check in their luggage go outside, test, and then wait in the airport for the results. That's, I don't know, that's kind of risky to me. Uh, we went the day before and it worked out fine. It, it, the process took a, about 45 minutes in line. Mario told us that he was there the, the day before with some clients and it took about 10 minutes in and out. So I'm gonna go over the details, uh, our experience and um, what you can come to expect when testing in Puerto Vallarta. So this location is open 24 hours. You don't need a reservation, it's you walk in. For US citizens, uh, you are required to take the antigen test, which is 450 pesos in cost or 25 US dollars. For Canadians, you're required to take the PCR test, which is 1,450 pesos or 80 US dollars. Both are done with swabs to the nose. The antigen test, they say it takes about 30 to 45 minutes before you get your results emailed to you. It took us about 30 to 35 minutes. For the PCR test for Canadians, it's 24 to 48 hours before you get your test. So you have to plan ahead more so than uh, the US citizens. I have to say that this facility had every contingency thought through very well. Um, I felt at all times they were in control of the situation. You're in line, everybody is distanced. They have markings to help you if, if you have trouble with, with that. There is an individual that's outside. He's in full COVID gear, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. And he and or she, whoever they are, they're volunteers. They aren't getting paid for this, but they're standing outside to ask any questions. There's a lot of people walking up from the airport or wherever with a, a lot of uh, you know valid questions that they may have. And to prevent these people from entering the tent, these volunteers are outside of the tent answering any question that you have. The entire process was English friendly. Uh, there was one person, there was only one person that we encountered that did not speak English. And uh, she was a, one of the swabbers. <laughs> and she, uh, she was a little brutal, actually. So if you're in there, if you're a swabber, if you notice that she does not speak English, you might want to ask for somebody else or look for somebody else because um, all the rest did a pretty good job. But yeah, English friendly throughout. Once it's your turn up, you walk in and you can see that there are five, maybe six stations, registration stations. And that is going to be the uh, bottleneck. If there's only one or two people that are manned there, 
you're, the line is going to be, uh, it's going to take you a lot longer in that line to be processed. If there are five or six persons staffing those registration centers, that line is going to go through, like Mario said, in 10 minutes. First thing they ask for is your passport. You're not required to have your passport, but it does make it a lot easier because if you don't, then you're going to have to provide your, uh, your plane ticket and like a driver's license. And both names have to match on that. If your driver's license has a middle name, then your plane ticket better have a, a middle name as well. Or you're going to have to go back to your hotel to fetch your passport. So once again, passport is fine. It's preferred. If you don't have the passport, have two pieces of identification, one being your plane ticket and the name has to match. Your name, your legal name has to match on both. Along the way, they're going to double check the information. They're going to ask you to double check for accuracy uh, three times, I believe. So they're very thorough. They want to make sure that they get it right. Once you fill out all your information, um, there's just a, a little staging area where you stand until there's a, a chair available. They'll walk you to a chair. An individual will come up. Ours spoke very good English. She was super nice, super friendly. And I was expecting the swab to be a swab on a stick, you know? Uh, the worst case scenario, not very bendy. But they were not that. They were very uh, skinny, plastic, pliable, very bendy uh, swab. And um, it was a piece of cake for me. But if you've never had this test before, it's the unknown, the anxiety that really wears on you. I was very, very impressed um, with the whole process from start to end. So let's transition over to Mario's car and we'll explain further our personal experiences of our COVID testing in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are leaving. Uh, we just got our tests our antigen tests for COVID. Uh, hopefully we're, we are, all three of us are negative. Uh, here with our favorite driver, Mario. Hola, Mario. Hola. And mine was super easy. Actually, it kind of tickled a little bit. Um, the most time it took was registering and they made sure that your information was correct like three times over. Yeah. So um, it was over in no time um, for me. I hate to say this, it was pretty easy. So, Idalia? Mine was very easy. Once she put it as high as she was going to, I just kept breathing in and out really quick, and it was easy. Margie? I, I had two babies. <laughs> this was nothing like that. Mine was painful, very. <laughs> they struck gold up here. <laughs> it was not good. Yeah. They struck blood. <laughs> I was sitting right across from Margie. Hers went first, and when <laughs> I tried not to laugh, <laughs> but when they when they inserted the swab into her, Mar Mar both of Margie's feet went boing. <laughs> so I, I started squealing. Like, <laughs> I felt I bad. <laughs> and then when Edie, when they finished with the Dalia's test, the nurse says, "Okay, now you can run." <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's done. It was cost us 450 pesos. 450 pesos per person. Per person. Um, they were sticklers on getting your proper name right. Your name on your license had to match the name on your plane ticket. That is only if you didn't have your passport with you. So make sure you bring your passport. Uh, if you don't have your passport, it's it's not a big deal as long as your names are a match. She had she just used my California license. Yeah, same here. Yeah. All right. Anything else to add? How long did the process take? We were had we were in line for forty five minutes, Mario. Around that. Yeah. Uh, Mario was saying yesterday it, it was in and out like ten minutes. Like the burgers. <laughs> like the burgers. Like the burgers. <laughs> Exactamente. <laughs> So uh, yeah, um, it has to be done. Uh, I I feel I feel for you Canadians because you have to pay more. But uh, you got to do what you got to do. All right, check it out. We'll talk later. Now I would be remiss in having this video without thanking all my Patreon members, especially my three newest members, Brett, Brian, and Melissa. Thank you so much for joining the Timeless Travel Club. 
and Harry, thank you so much for the one-time contribution through PayPal. I made notes for this video, but you know, there's, there's so much detail, there's so many things to know. If you have any questions on something that I may have missed, please drop me a comment so you know everybody can see it and, and benefit from your question. I'm gonna post the details of this video in the description. So after you've watched this, if you wanna go back and copy paste it to wherever, maybe print it out, you are welcome to do that. Overall, it was a, it was a great trip. I always enjoy going through Puerto Vallarta or anywhere in Mexico for that matter, but especially Puerto Vallarta, anywhere along the beach areas so I can fill my eyes and ears with scenes like this and this or this. Like yourself, I cannot wait to return to some sense of normalcy. But until then, you might want to consider binge watching The Timeless Travel Club to help you to quench your thirst for Mexican travel.